there's another factor that can affect the mobility and that's going to be um, how fast is the what's the maximum velocity that the electron can move at in other words um, the saturation velocity uh, of the uh, electron and that's going to affect the drain current as you see here in this figure so drain currents plotted on the y-axis uh, drain to source voltage on the x-axis and we have different curves corresponding for different gate voltages the dash curves are what the currents would be if we didn't have any uh, velocity saturation no saturation velocity but the blue curves is what we would actually have if we do consider the effect of this saturation velocity so you can see that um, maybe at one volt it doesn't make much of a difference at two volts you're already getting a lower current than you would if you didn't consider saturation velocity at uh, three volts here's um, the saturation the one with velocity saturation here's the uh, other one the uh, one that won't actually occur in real life but there's a very significant difference already 4 volts, that difference gets higher, 5 volts, that gets higher, and so forth. So to get increased drain current and faster switching times, we could actually increase um, the saturation velocity. And the way to do that is let's consider um, the structure of the MOSFET. So there's the, the length of the channel is this capital L. We'll also define this lowercase l which is going to be the distance between a collision event or a scattering event. So how far can the electron move before it hits something or before it scatters as we saw in the surface scattering. So for most MOSFETs the length of the channel is longer than that collision distance so there's going to, the electron is going to hit something before it can move between the source and the drain. But if we made this uh, length between the source and the drain really short so that it was less than this distance between collisions, then we wouldn't get any scattering. And that's something called ballistic transport. Um, ballistic, you can think of, you know, like if you watch a crime show, they talk about uh, doing ballistics and, and looking at, at firearms and that kind of thing. So you can think of ballistic, you know, how a, a bullet travels. It just fires and it, it moves through the air in a very straight line. So ballistic transport um, is the electron just moving through a material in a very straight, uh, very high speed fashion. So that v ballistic transport velocity is greater than the saturation velocity. One way that you can do this is you can use uh, a carbon nanotube as the channel. And that in the carbon nanotube, you'll have ballistic transport. It's not only a combination of making the, the channel length short, but in a carbon nanotube, this, this lowercase l, the distance between collisions, also becomes larger. So it's easier to get this condition where the length of the channel is less than the scattering distance.